Both North Dakota and North Dakota State women's basketball wrapping up their weekend hoop series at home. The Fighting Hawks hosting the Oral Roberts Golden Eagles and the Bison up against the Denver Pioneers. Both visitors losing to the other North Dakota school this past Thursday. Now we start off with the Bison. They host Denver looking for their first back to back wins over the Pioneers since two years ago. NDSU ball still scoreless. Abby Krawinski inside. What a nice move by the freshman starter. She gets NDSU on the board first. Now later in the quarter, Abby Draper tries the close shot. No good. Gets the board just barely. Kicks back out. Heaven Hamling. That pass swung around to her sister, Taryn. That three's perfect. NDSU up eight now, 13 to five. Now, now to the second quarter. Denver making the comeback to tie us at 20. L Evans, she's got other ideas. Leading the team in scoring, and we'll try and boost those numbers. With this nice floater ball just doinks in. Bison up two, and oh boy, they will not look back. Bison when it's 86-65. Not so much of the same good feelings for women's hoops up in Grand Forks today. The Fighting Hawk women suffer a 102-57 blowout loss. 45 point margin of defeat, their largest this season against the conference opponent and largest this season since falling at 48. That game at Drake last December, that's out in Iowa. UND gets a chance to rest this week ahead of their rematch against the Bison, that on February 24th. For the Bison men, they fall 77-71 to Denver after leading almost two thirds of the game and holding a 20 point second half lead. A tough one to swallow for the herd, but you see right there, Brunner, 41 points. He's one of the top scorers in all of basketball in the NCAA. What an incredible performance by him today. NDSU sinking back to 500, 13 and 13. They prep for a pair of home games this week, Thursday against St. Thomas and Saturday against North Dakota. Both games, Bison seeking revenge after earlier road losses. That first matchup against the Tommies, that's this Thursday at 7 o'clock p.m. North Dakota State Baseball dropped game one to UC Irvine out in California yesterday and today followed suit. The Bison falling 7-2 to lose the series, but they have tomorrow's game at 3 o'clock p.m. back in Irvine to avoid the sweep and then five more games after that out in California against Long Beach State, Cal Poly, and Pacific respectively. That's all over the next week. Bison softball has two games today in North Carolina at NC State and Raleigh. Game one, a very tight 7-5 loss in eight innings, a heartbreaker against the Elon Phoenix. Game two, a much better outcome for the green and gold. They prevail 7-2 over the Campbell Fighting Camels, one of my personal favorite mascots in the country, earning their first win of the year. Bison have one more game in the Tar Heel State. They face the Connecticut Huskies tomorrow way early at 8.30 a.m. Central Time. Now, St. Scholastica coming to town to play the Concordia Cobbers on Senior Day. Both men and women's teams have just today to play before the Mayak Tournament next week. Slow start for both teams. Jacob Cook, a strong drive into the lane. He finishes the finger roll. Cobbers up 2-0. Later in the half, pass goes out wide for Matt Johnson. The three, it hits and one. A four-point play for the senior. Concordia keeps their lead up. Minutes later, Rowan Nelson tosses to Jackson Lodge. There's an open Zach Johnson for three. No good. Rebound Cobbs. Lodge throws down the slam. Timeout Saints. Roll, Cobbers, roll. And roll both teams did. The women with an emphatic 86-52 win gets them the number two seed for the Mayak tournament at 18-2 in the conference, 19-4 overall. They are in a bye past the quarterfinals, awaiting their opponent, their Thursday night tip off. The men close out a W2. They take it 75 67 to finish fifth in the regular season. They play four seed Hamlin on the road this coming Tuesday at 7 o'clock p.m. for spot in Thursday semifinals.